All right, guys, it's just me and Alyssa recording. So anyway, I had to walk back. Sorry you hadn't heard from us in a while. We wanted to uh, get on here and let you know or hear from us and let, uh, let you know that we're praying for you guys. Uh, but the first part of the week, we had to take a break. So we went to the beach. You enjoy the beach? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is so nervous to be on here. Y'all give her a little bit of grace tonight. Anyway, we're going to try over the next, I don't know, few weeks, as long as this is going on and we're kind of stuck in our home, uh, we thought we'd get on here and just share with you guys some testimonies about how God has worked in our life and how we've seen him in his hand uh, move in our life. And so we have, man, if you follow Christ, you should have quite a few stories. Um, but the one we're going to start with tonight is the one that we get asked about more than any other. And it is why in the world would you uh, start a church in Jones County? And uh, I'll just say, all I can tell you is because God asked us to. Um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit tonight. Um, two things we want you to know tonight, though, is that God speaks through his word and that um, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. And I think that's important for us right now, the things that we're going through. Um, mostly, you're going to get to hear from my wife tonight, though. You ready? Mm -hmm. I don't know. She's, again, y'all pray for her right now because she is so nervous. It's okay. Um, I'll tell you this. I, God had convinced me that we were going to start a church um, several weeks, if not months, before he had told Alyssa. Um, through several things that happened, through messages that I'd heard, through conversations that I'd had. Um, man, there are just so many things that God was doing in my life to convince me this is what God had called us to do. Um, and so one night we were driving home, and it was a time in our life where we had to make a decision, okay? So we had to decide, are we going to do this or are we, or are we not going to? Has God called us to do this or has he not? And I knew that if God called us, that he would call us as a family. And so um, I just looked at Alyssa one night. Um, this is as we pulled up into our driveway. I looked at her that Saturday night and I said, okay, this is what I need you to do. Um, either way, I believe that God will speak to you either way through his word. That he will um, either tell you, no, we're not gonna, we shouldn't do this. That we're not going to move forward. Or yes, we need to move forward. And so I said, I just asked her, I said, will you make me a promise? Will you promise just to read his word, read the Bible with an open mind and let him speak to you? And I don't want something that's just kind of vague, something that speaks specifically to this. Should we go? Should we start this church? Because, um, you know, we had it good. We were at a place that we loved. It was a great place, great people. Um, God was working. God was moving. Um, on paper, there was no reason to leave. But I knew if God had called us, that he would speak to her through his word, and we would both be convinced. And so I'm going to turn it over to her and let her tell you from there. So after I ask you in the car or even there, what happened? Okay. Um, after he had asked me to look at the scripture, my response was, yes, I will do that. <laughs> With about half sincerity. Um, but that night when I was asleep um, in the bed, I still had not been um, serious about that maybe. And looking back now, I think I can say that that night God woke me up. And I took my Bible and I opened up um, to Hebrews chapter 11. And I wanted to read to you what um, God opened up in front of me. Abraham had faith, so he obeyed God. God called him to go to a place that he would later receive as his own. So he went. He did it even though he didn't know where he was going. Because of his faith, he made his home in the land that God had promised him. He was like an outsider in a strange country. He lived there in tents. So did Isaac and Jacob. They received the same promise that he did. And so in this whole thing, I had a lot of questions. And being a mom and a wife, I worried about a lot of things. I had a lot of fear. Um, I worried about my children. Um, would they be part of a group that could help develop their faith? I worried about where we would live. I worried about how we would eat. I worried about all of those things. 
And, and to be fair, the answer every time she asked me was, I don't know. So my answer, she, she kind of gives me a hard time right now, but we laugh a little bit. But every time she would ask about any of those things, I would just say, I don't know. So. That answer wasn't good enough for me. <laughs> but when God showed me the scripture and he said that he had called Abraham out to a place that he didn't know, that's when God started ministering to my heart. And he said, there are no clear answers right now. But you have to have faith in me and trust me. And trust me in the big things and trust me in the little things. Mm -hmm. And then where I was afraid for my children, as I read down in the scripture that I just read, it mentions Abraham's children. And it says that they received the same promise that he did. And that ministered to my heart so much. I knew that if God was going to take care of us, that he was going to take care of my kids. And wow, have we been able to see them take their faith and make it their own. And it's just been incredible to watch them and see the things that they've done and how they've led others uh, to faith in Christ also. And so we want to leave you with those two things. First, God's, God speaks through his word. Um, 2 Timothy 3.16 tells us, All Scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, I mean, I'm sorry, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. And so, uh, during this time of uncertainty, uh, rely on God's Word. He makes promises. Even in the unknowns, He's there. Even in the un unknowns, He's watching, and uh, He knows how all this ends. And so, uh, we can see some of that. God has blessed us with people that he has surrounded us with. We had no idea that would be part of what's going on. And um, man, I am thankful that we trusted God in all this. Don't let fear paralyze you from following God. Anyway, y'all have a good night. Tomorrow night, um, we're going to talk about a time that we couldn't afford bread because I saw on Facebook all of you are talking about, I can't find bread. I don't have any bread. But there was a time in our life that we couldn't afford any bread. And so we were praying to God about that. Um, some of you have heard the story. It's a really cool story. Uh, Y'all tune in tomorrow night. Anyway, um, I've got to walk behind the camera now and turn it off because we are a two-person show, right? Just the two of us. I would sing, but I can't. Anyway, love you guys. Praying for you. If you need something, let us know.